from Denver 7, this is 7 News. Okay, so we have an expert this morning from the Associated Landscaping Contractors of Colorado here to talk about taking care of plants in the wintertime. That's right. It's hard to believe, but you actually need to. We've got some tips as to what you should be doing now to make sure your plants look beautiful come spring. So with the snow we've seen down here in the metro area, it's time to really start thinking about taking care of our plants. Which is hard to think about in the wintertime, but joining us this morning is Kara Burke, a professional landscaper with the Associated Landscape Contractors of Colorado. And Kara, you are in you actually own Petals Fine Gardening. I do. And you said you're busy this winter, but this is time for us, the homeowner, to really take a look at our plants. You know, with all this crazy weather we've had, mm -hmm. it'll snow one day, then it'll be 50 Sunshine. for a couple of days. <laughs> so what we end up having is some pretty persistent ice spots, and that's a safety issue, especially if it's at your front door and your driveway when you get out of your car. So you're probably using some ice melt or, or de-icers. Mm -hmm. And what I'm here to say is th sometimes that can be damaging to your plants. Sure. And salt is the issue. Okay. So are there products safer? Some products that are safer to use out there? You know there are and there's a whole variety of products out there. What we recommend is read the label. Mm -hmm. The label will tell you how safe it is. It'll also tell you what that product will do for you. So then, as you said, it's that the salt can be kind of dangerous mm -hmm. for the plants. Are there some that are better to use around those icy areas? There are. And um, a, a non-salt based product will melt but not necessarily evaporate and so that's why sometimes a salt based product is going to be the safest and what we're seeing in the Midwest is some municipalities are starting to add beet juice to their salt and sand um, based mixtures and what the beet juice they found mm -hmm. lowers the freezing point down about 25 to 50 degrees down to about 25 below zero so we're going to start watching and seeing how how this is going to translate to the homeowner. Oh, that'll be okay. nice. I think we were showing some pictures of the uh, ornamental grasses there, and I've seen a lot of the grasses out there that's been broken or damaged from the snow and stuff. So what can we do? I mean, are they going to come back on their own? or? That's a great question. The, the, the short answer is yes, they're going to come back. But right now, if the seed heads are still up, uh -huh. we call that winter interest. It's good bird food also. But if they're flattened down, take a bungee cord or a couple bungee cords and put them back up together like a ponytail okay. and then take your hedge clippers and just clip them right below and then you get the whole plant you can also kind of round out the edges and then they'll be ready to grow in the spring probably six to eight maybe 12 inches depending That's great okay. yeah yeah I love my ornamental grasses those are always fun to have <laughs> all right well Kara Burke thank you so much for being here really Absolutely. appreciate it good luck to you and uh hard to believe but spring in some ways is right around the corner can't wait <laughs> I'm a spring person so me right. too Thanks, I like it